There are at least three ways that I use to search Twitter, and that's by author, hashtags, or keywords. And I'll show you each. So if I find an author that I like, Neil Selwyn, for example, and I'll put the full name in, he comes up. I'm going to click on his name. And then I can go through his articles and like the ones that I find are interesting or the messages that I like that are interesting. And all I have to do is click on the heart. So let me see here. I've clicked on a few. Uh, changing educational expectations of the social web. I like that one. So I'm going to click like on that. What that does is it records a like. So when I go back to my home page, it adds a like here and it keeps track of things that I like. It's sort of like a favorites. The second thing I search by, and a lot of people use this, is a hashtag. So for example, I've used mLearning here. That stands for mobile learning and I can see articles that have been posted there. Now maybe they're not research related, so I could add the word research. So anytime that mLearning, the hashtag mLearning has been posted with the word research. And so we have some articles here and I can take a look at them. Ones I like, I can click on heart and keep track of that. So that's my second way of searching. Now, the one thing is you might not know the hashtags to look for, that's, that could be an issue. an issue. So let's say I was looking for digital citizenship. What I do is I go to Google and I just type in digital citizenship and then I put hashtags. So what that does is a lot of kind individuals here. We have 10 digital citizenship hashtags to join the conversation. So I can click on those. And then I like to keep a record of these. I keep a word file of, the, of not necessarily these ones, but this is a great set of hashtags for that topic. And I can start looking them up so for example, if I want dig sit, I can go back here and I didn't know that one existed. Makes sense because it's short. Click on it. And here are the nine P's of digital citizenship. I like that one. I'm going to click on it. And the other thing you can do is you can click on people that post messages that you like. And if you see a pattern, you could start to follow those people. The third way I use is actually particularly useful because I'm not always sure of the hashtags or maybe there isn't a hashtag. So I can search by keywords. So for example, what if I wanted to look at math, apps, and research? And here we go. Research on using math apps for improving student learning. Exploratory study in an inclusive fourth grade class. So I can like that. So that's how I search Twitter for information that could be useful, current information that could be useful, in my case, for research areas. But you can search all sorts of areas for your benefits.